Yeah, but it's more than just lumps of rock. It's survived for hundreds of years. It's the last place people were. Most rocks do survive for hundreds of years. Really, really warm. Yeah, it can't I'm not touching the piece of rock. Oh, come on. It's more than a piece of oh, rock. There's something about it. Just feel it. expected that during the night Simon de Montfort's army had quietly marched up from Warningor Wood and around Black Cap to Mount Harry from where they had an excellent view downhill of the town they intended to attack. The Londoners arrived at the top of Otham Hill. Few of them could have had useful military experience as there has been no sizable battle in England for 50 years. It is stated that the Prince's Knights went downhill slaying their victims right down to the River Ouse where many drowned trying to escape across the water near Hamsey. When the great gate of the Priory closed, the King and many men of quality were temporarily safe inside. It was a unique sight for the ladies and sightseers gathered on the turrets of the castle. The whole tilted landscape between the grandstand and the prison was alive with fighting figures and moving bodies of troops, and the scene was all in view from where they stood. Now and again, knights charged knights, armour clanged, French as well as English voices yelled together. Warriors rolled on the turf, horses galloped riderless, hooves drummed the trembling earth and that thrilling and threatening noise. Here and there a small disciplined troop, trained by a veteran of the Crusades, stood like an island in the swirling sea of weapons, banners, plumes and crests. The town on fire and its streets filled with objects of slaughter. Together with the mingled cries and dismay of old age, female weaknesses and infancy. As it was, he, Edward, was left free to take revenge on the luckless companies. As they fled like rabbits, his knights dropped their lances and drew their long, straight, two-edged swords to cut and slash at all they could overtake. As for de Warren, he galloped with all his cronies of like mind, past the massive walls of his own great castle, down the paddock, past the land port over the town bridge, and away towards the east. Historic ruins set high above a country town. A battle where many died, where many men fell down. 
with peasants and craftsmen and nobles around. All the rows are just cobbled and hard on the ground. Keeping watch and spying from towers so tall. Wondering about the secrets that were trapped in the walls. A flag flying high and a fearful sound. The history and the past is waiting to be found.